Davis. And we've got another timeout. Two minutes and 46 remaining. Lemek Derby Ace ahead by nine. And the last one. And here's your opportunity to win tickets to the next PBA game. Just join the Solar PBA text for tickets promo. Just text Solar space PBA space the mystery keyword for today, and that is glory. Send it to 2600 for your chance to win tickets to the next PBA game. Talk about glory. Is it going to be Celtics glory or Lakers glory? That's right. Great week for sports, <laughs> really. That's coming up uh, this Friday. Game number one of the NBA Finals, live on Solar TV. Hey, it's on cue. There you go. <laughs> That's going to be live at 9 a.m. Lakers with a home court advantage, so they host games one and two, and then Boston will get to host three and four, if necessary five, and if necessary six and seven will be back at the Staples Center. Last time both these teams met in 2008, Boston had the home court advantage, and the Celtics won 4-2. You know, the interesting contrast about that series, mm -hmm. if I might say, right now in the playoffs, the Lakers are 8-0 and zero at home, undefeated. But Boston has won five of their eight road wins, road right. games. They do know how to win so, them on yeah. the road. While here back at the Cuneta Astrodome, Santa Lucia Realtors, their points have been coming in uh, in spurts. And those are open looks for Santa Lucia. Yes, they are. And those they, shots were not challenged. They've been trying to run a lot of their offense through Anthony Johnson. Now Cliff Brown stuck on the outside. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Down low. Roger Yap, low post play. Working against uh, Don Belbelano. Oh, well, Santa Lucia likes to run, or rather, Meg likes to run that play for Roger Yap to post up his defender. This is a huge lineup that B Meg has on the floor, except for Roger Yap. And KG Canaletta is playing the two guard position. Canaletta almost losing it. Now the realtors finally take it away. Two on one. Oh, and the denial by Pingris. Now Cliff Brown takes the jumper. No. Menor with a rebound, a minute and 37 to go in the first, and it's another steal. Cliff Brown looking for a shooter, Roger Yap goes back to Brown. And he seems to be liking that spot over there, but there's KG Canaleta. Cliff Brown is taking a lot of shots, but <laughs> in this game so far, he's already taken seven attempts. Well, somebody gave him the green light to take those jumpers. <laughs> You're so right. He's so aggressive. But you know, he's taking it from medium range. And he hasn't got that range yet. Here's a shot falling in. Da getting the shooter's bounce. Brown looking for a backdoor play. Now Rebus. Canaleta gets open. Rebound by Da. Time enough for maybe two possessions here. Johnson working the low post, and that's going to be another turnover against the Realtors. And Roger Yap making short work of Belano. And we've got about a two second differential here between the game clock and the shot clock. There's the cut by Anthony Johnson. Johnson. And he gets hammered down low. That shot was taken with 7.1 seconds to go in this quarter. And you take a look at this change of dribble. And Roger Yap just kept Don Belbelano out uh, of his way. And that was off another turnover. You know, big discrepancy here, Vito, in turnover points. Mm -hmm. B-Meg already with 12 turnover points, and Santa Lucia with zero. 12 turnover points? That's almost half of the production exactly, from the yes. Limado. 
Johnson, eight, is now responsible for eight of the 14 points of the Santa Lucia Realtors. And there's Rico Meyerhofer with a nice trail job. And so at the end of the first quarter, the BMEC Derby Ace Yamadas have taken control of this ball game, getting ahead by 11, 25 to 14. Second quarter of action is up next. And we are back here at the Cuneta Astrodome. Second quarter, just about to get underway, and we want to tell you about what's coming up this Saturday. The PBA is once again back on tour, featuring the Tokatex Tropa Texters taking on Barangay Ginebra. That's going to be in Batanga City. And a great looking crowd here at the Granata Astrodome. They were treated to a, uh, a game earlier. I think that's Mrs. Mark Fingris. Danica, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. And she seems to be enjoying. Oh, we see Alton Lister in the crowd taking notes. He is the San Miguel coaching consultant. And he's not the only one from San Miguel who's here. And, uh, and the San Miguel beer men have. Uh, Every reason to be here doing their uh, homework because they are set. But they're going to be set to take on, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they're going to be set to take on the BMEC Derby East Yamadas next this Sunday. And our second quarter is now officially underway. Roger Yap walking the tightrope there. Nice fake by Canaleta. Jumper, no good. And look at Anthony Johnson, sky for that rebound. And more big men on the floor here for BMEC, Romela Dukul. And Meyer Hoffer checked in just as the first quarter was ending and he got an offensive rebound and two points in a putback at the buzzer. You know, with so many big men on the floor for BMEC, you wonder why they're taking so many medium range shots. Yes. Or maybe because they feel that with their size, they can get offensive rebounds. But I think they should really move the ball a lot closer. Hook shot by Nick Velasco. That brings the real first to within nine. Talk about challenging the interior for inside points. That's a big check mark for BMEC. Already with 16 inside points. Santa Lucia with 10. Revis. In no man's land, they're running out of time and it's a turnover. There's the go-ahead pass for Da. Can he finish? A little too deep for Da there, but this time the jumper by Belano that just rolls out. Again, the control of the boards by Bimek. Cross-court pass, Roger Yap yeah, blocks and loads. No, but Meyerhofer with the offensive rebound. He takes the jumper. And that's what I mean, the offensive rebounding of BMEC because of their size. Roger Yap taking a gamble in a low percentage outside shot, realizing that they'll probably get the rebound anyway. And double teams waiting for Anthony Johnson at every corner. <laughs> And change the guards here. Juan Escobar coming back in for the Santa Lucia Realtors. And earlier, Kenito, in the top of the coverage, we talked about all the changes and uh, that have happened for the Santa Lucia Realtors. Of course, they feeling the loss of their two stars in Kelly Williams and Ryan Reyes. Do you think that the Realtors have fallen under uh, the, the spell of maybe relying a little bit too much on their import? Well, I think so, especially now. Uh, they need to get a lot more production from the local unit. I think also they might have over-relied on Kelly Williams. Williams and Ryan Reyes in the past and that's why they're having a difficult time adjusting but you know the honeymoon period is over forget about Kelly Williams forget about Ryan Reyes forget about Paulo Mendoza and forget about Charles Waters those four guys from Santa Lucia have all gone and you know talking about Santa Lucia they can't live by AJ alone and so far Johnson with eight points the locals with eight points that's not enough they're over relying on AJ to get the points the locals have to contribute a lot more than just the local just the import and talk about the honeymoon period of Santo Lucia well since the arrival of six new players Menor Escobal, Al Jamal, Ali Peak, Velasco and Chris Ross they have gone zero out of three Johnson losing the possession there as Roger Yap oh and Official 